Hey everyone, how you doing? Dark Sky here, and today we are playing Bilderman. We got uh, we got some things done. We did uh, last time we did was the uh, the frames. Got all the frames and everything going on. Things seem to be pretty optimized for the time being. Things are moving. Things are grinding. Um, yeah, yeah. Everything seems to be doing great. Uh, it's all backed up. That's good. Things are happening. And you can see these machines are going pretty good. Uh, I mean, you can see a little pause in between, but I think it's just because they're getting getting the components in there, and it takes them a couple seconds to get the components on. Uh, you know, once we get those faster belts, you know that I think that'll uh, change. So what we're going to be doing today is, I think what we're going to need to do. So we got metal frames. Uh, what I want to do is add some more iron plating. So we need more iron plating. Uh, and that's going to finish up. Let's see. This is going to finish up our tier two uh, machine shop. We're currently working on getting the metal frames knocked out for um, our uh, tier three extractor, which is going to be, that's going to be huge. That's going to be a cha game changer right there. Uh, but uh, let me see. Uh, we got that. Uh, can't do that yet. Uh, we got the robotic arm. I'm not even sure how the robotic arm works. Like how does, well, I know how they work, but how do they come into play? How do, how do we use them? This here is just basically taking money from me at the moment. So. I'm actually making more than what it's um, taking, so that, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still going up. Uh, once that's done, though, that's kind of the end of the line for as far as that line goes. But the steel continues on, and the steel is really what's going to, you know, kind of set us up for the rest of, like, everything else. So we got uh, concretes next which is uh, steel forges and sand and uh, unlocks the steel rods and concrete, which is going to be nice. This one here is for graphite and electromagnetic shops. And then and it, it'll unlock the battery shop. And this one here is going to unlock the industrial factory tier two. So we do have, we have, well, we don't have the forge yet, but uh, we'll have that soon. We do have the industrial factory, and we can make heat sinks now. And heat sinks uh, require uh, copper ingots, and it all happens inside of a workshop. So let's see what we can do with that. Uh, what do we got here? We got any other resources nearby? We got the uh, the copper here, which we could use that for the heat sinks. Uh, looks like we just unlocked uh, storage. So there's that. Um, now it's working on storage upgrade. I'm not really sure how the storage thing works, to be honest. Um, I mean, I know how storages work, but how can I put it into this so that, I mean, can I, I don't know. Can I do that? Can I, it's, it's a two-sided, right? So I, I guess what I could do is like these lines here that are filling up, I could just put, put one right there and then maybe one right here. That way it kind of keeps everything going. I have plenty of storage, you know. I don't even know how much does this thing hold, you know. I don't know. Storage buildings can only store one type item at a time. Max capacity can be upgraded. So I don't know, 250 is that the price? I don't know what storage, 44. Uh, imagine it holds more than that. Let's see, now 87, see, I don't know, maybe 250? Because that one's at 92. So I'm thinking 250 is the storage amount. Oh. So that's cool. Uh, this one here seems to be running pretty good, but I don't know. Maybe, uh, 
Maybe you put a storage on that one too, huh? But let me see what happens. It doesn't say how fast store it comes out of the storage though. So I'm thinking maybe I could put it on maybe some of these other lines. Just to kind of like make sure that if like something happens that um I always have like you know stuff coming in. And then I'm um, thinking maybe the same on these ones. Can I do that like right here? Wow, so that does do a thing. Huh. All right, let's put it there then. And let's put some right there. There we go. We'll make sure that those lines are always working and things are happening. Oh yeah, I wanna put one like right there too. Maybe the same on these ones too, huh? That way it's always pushing stuff into the machine. I think that's a good idea actually. Doing that. I think I'll do that with a lot of my stuff now. These storages are are gonna be awesome. Uh, I can't do it too much. Well, I can do it on these ones here like that. I guess I'll have to put it on this one up here and that there. And then that there. So it looks like I got all the storages here. So everything looks like it's pretty good. And yeah, everything else seems to be doing pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty decent. Uh, I want to maximize this a little bit more. I need to optimize that a lot more. So. Oh, man, this is a long line, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this one here is just pumping out coal. That's the only thing that one is doing. Again, it'd be nice if I had little signs. That way I could just put a sign on this and be like, oh, okay, that's what that's for. So one is just going straight in. The other one is actually going into uh, this machine here. It seems to kind of keep everything going constant, you know, by putting those in. It, uh, it doesn't, it makes it so that the machines are not holding back. You know, they're just constantly going. So that's kind of neat. I might have to change that one out because I don't know. Um, I'm not really needing silicone anymore going into the machines. This one here, uh, it's got wood. I could probably reuse, or not wood, that's copper, sorry. I could probably use this copper and change it and have it go into these machines and more optimize the uh, electromagnetics and make them a little bit more optimal. And then, uh, let's see. Um, I mean, right now, I mean, these are all good. Everything's pumping in there. Things are happening. All right, so what I want to do is I need to have more. I mean, look at all the stuff I got. I got a lot of stuff. There's even stuff on here I haven't been using yet. I mean, there's like these things here, these red piles. I don't know what these are. Oops. Oh, well. What is that? Oh, coal. Oh, that's coal. Oh, I'm using coal. It's this one here. Um, What is that called? Wolframite? Yeah. So that's what, aluminum? I think this is what Wolframite is. All right, so now what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I need to run an iron line. I'm thinking I wanna do this one here. I don't know how I ended up getting an extractor. That's strange. But okay, let's do, we'll, we'll work with it. We'll work with it. Uh, so we, what we gotta do is we gotta put in uh, let's see, how about maybe one here, one there. I forget what the, um, oh, these, oh, how did I do that, man? I, <laughs> I got, I got tier ones. Oops. Come on, work with me. There we go. So, okay, we got these tier ones. Um, I guess you can't, I thought you could upgrade it. 
just by clicking on it with a higher upgrade, but no, that's not the case. You just have to upgrade it hand by hand, I guess. All right, so I have these two. Um, I forget what the ratio is on these. So if I have this, uh, let's just set it up like a little tiny thing here just to kind of see like where I'm at. So I want to put that in and I want to do ironing it. So that's 30 to 30. What if I up that to tier two, uh, 45 to 45. Okay, so that would mean that I'd have four of those. Okay, that works out. And then we go a little bit further and we want to put in a workshop. And in the workshop, right? Yeah. In the workshop, I want to do iron plating. All right. And if iron plating is 40 per minute, and it only makes 20 per minute of iron plating. All right. So the gold thing finally got done. So that's done. Another uh, check mark done. Dropped us a little bit. We were up to about 80,000, and now we're down to about 70. But, you know, I mean, I'm not too worried. Still got plenty of cash on hand. All right, so now we're making, uh, let's see, 40 per minute. This one here is pumping out at 45 per minute. So these are basically a one for one, except these ones require four to go in. And I can't make this workshop into a tier two, or otherwise I'm not going to have enough because I'm going to have to like make a serious amount of extractors just to keep up with the furnace. Yeah, so let me see. Let's uh, let's do this, and I want to do maybe that, and that. That should set up for that one. Um, let's do that, 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 that. That should set up for the second one. Okay, so this one here, I want to come out here. Bring that in. Okay, so what I want to do is bring that in like that. And I'm going to bring in a furnace. And then I'm also going to bring in a, uh, a shop. Connect the two. There we go. And then what I want to do is, let me see. Oh, yeah, okay. So I have this one here that needs to come in to that one. There, so we got four on that one. Now what we need to do is make another one. And I'm thinking, let's turn that, and we'll put that like that, 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 and that. All right, and so then what we should be able to do is take this one here, bring it in here, bring it down. All right, and then, okay, and there we go. All right, so now we got three of these. Three of these are pumping out at 20 per minute, so that's going to give me about 60 per minute on iron pleating. It's not too bad. Not too bad. So what I want to do now, um, I'm thinking I want to do, I want to pump out probably about 80 to 100. Maybe 100. Uh, so let's, let's try for 100. Um, so I'm going to need to do this here. Uh, I'll copy that. And we're going to put one there, one there, one there, and there. And then I'm going to have another one here, 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 and here. Okay, so this one here, um, maybe point it up like that. That would be cool, right? So I can bring these ones in. that and then i'm gonna do a c on there c on there there we go so now that brings us up to uh that that's 80 right there and that one goes that way that way that way that way okay 
So I'm going to bring this in here like that. Bring that down. And then I'm thinking on this one here, since it's in like kind of a funny spot, I'm going to put that one actually right there. No, I could do it. Uh, let's delete that. Uh, you know what? I could probably, I think I could put it right here. So we'll see. And we'll put that, all right. C. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is bring this in there. There we go. All right, now we got, we should have 80. Or we should have 100, rather. So there we go. We bring that in there. Bring that in there. There we are. We're golden. Now, I don't know how many lines I can bring down without them getting. Let's just bring down to one and see where we're, where we're at. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Do I want to bring it in? No. There's a top one up here. So I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this into the top one. Matter of fact, I think what I want to do is kind of break this off and bring this down. And then I'm going to get rid of this. And, um, So let's bring that out and out to here. We'll bring that straight up. And I'm just gonna let the everything kind of run its its course on that line. So as far as the uh our iron coming down, our iron is right here, and that line is in the way. So we'll just bring it to that point for now. It'll give some time for it to build up. Um, but I think what I'm going to need to do, I'm going to actually redo this line up here anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is this line is I'm going to just bring it out here, bring it down here, bring it out this way, give myself a little bit more room to get around. It's funny that they call it conveyor belts buildings. All right, so this one here, I can bring it in here now. And I think I'm just going to connect it right in there. Now, how's this thing doing? How's, how's that fair? And it's doing pretty good. And that's connected to uh, three of them. So I think I could just connect the other two. So there we go. Now I got the other two coming in. I have all 100 coming in, actually. So that should knock me out of getting, well, not the iron gears, not the metal frames. Where is it? Iron plating. Okay, so it's, that's going to knock that one out. That's going to get that knocked out really quick. Uh, and then the next thing we need to do is work on computers. So that means I'm really going to have to you know, really work my game. Um, so I don't know. Is it an industrial factory? Is that what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Industrial factory is computers. Okay. And computers are metal frames and logic circuits. 25 of each. Wow. So how much does it make right now? Let me see. Let's get down here. So here's our uh, our uh, logic circuits that are being made, and they are pumping out at 10 per minute. And we need 25 per minute pumping out. So that means we need three machine shops per, just to make one. <laughs> wow, okay. Do we have anything that's made? That's needing circuits right now that I can take that offline and, and be, you know, good to go. Let me see here. Um, 
that requires computers. Hmm, that requires metal frames. Which by that time, I think I should be all right. That, you know, I should be able to knock that out. That needs metal frames still. But by the time we get to the next one, it'll require electric motors. So that won't be too bad. I wonder why that they update the extractors to a tier four when you make the end product. I mean, what's the point of upgrading it to that point when you're already making the end product? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. All right. So anyways, uh, what do we got here? Um, so we have, I have the iron plating pumping out. We got the, uh, the metal frames that are pumping out here. And uh, we got the circuit boards. So to get circuit boards requires uh, copper and uh, stone. Right? That's stone. Yeah, it's stone. Yeah. Okay. So it, it requires stone and it requires copper to make those. Um, And it takes wood and iron to make to make these. So I almost need to have another thing that has all four of these resources all over again. Or just let it like play out and finish up and then we um and then we just use that as our next area. But I don't know. Let me see here. What do we got available? Do we have anything where it has all four of those basic resources all in one like that again? I mean, I thought we were pretty lucky when we found the one. But to find it again. I mean, here's here's copper. Here's trees. Uranium. And then there's stone. But no iron. Well, there's iron, but it's like way the heck out here. Hmm. Well, here we go. It's got iron. It's got stone. It's got copper. It's got trees right here. I guess we could work it out that far, huh? Hmm. Well, I don't know. You guys comment down in the uh, comment section down below. What do you think? Should I, I'm going to call this one here. Um, uh, we'll call that number one. Actually, we'll call this number one. This is number two. Or should I do something completely different? Let's see how are we doing. We should be knocking this stuff out of the park. So our iron gears are almost done. We're halfway on our metal frames. We're about one fourth of the way on our iron plating. Yeah, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to wait on that. Um because once that's done, we don't really need that stuff anymore. I mean we'll need metal frames. That's just iron frames or yeah, wood frames and iron plating, which is pretty easy to come by. I mean we could do that like up here on this one if we had to i mean because we could bring this down i need to optimize this because we don't need we don't need wood anymore yeah so we don't need wood anymore so um we don't even need wood frames anymore so we could get rid of that altogether and that would really clear up this belt allowing for like at least this uh the metal plating to get or the iron plating to get through yeah you know what i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring this out i'm gonna bring it out here i'm gonna work with it out here and then i'll bring this iron plating down and we'll turn it into uh the uh, metal boxes the metal frames and uh yeah and then we'll make this whole area down here 
into our next our next step, which is going to be computers. So the, all the stuff right here is all going to turn over, and we're going to make it in computers, which is good because I have all the space here, which is I'm going to need. I'm going to need a lot of space to like get these computers set up. So. But anyways, yeah, so that's uh, that's that. I think that's where, where we stand right now. We got uh, this stuff coming in. Um, and I think I'll just wait until uh, until we get uh, these um, things. I'll do it offline. And uh, when we come back on, we'll, uh, we'll be caught up to a point where we don't... Uh, we don't need a lot of the stuff and we can start moving on to the bigger and better things. Even this side here could be reworked. And I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna need to do some a little reworking on some of this stuff. So but anyways, uh if you're liking the content, please hit that like button and uh if uh, you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe and leave me a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. It helps with the algorithm and it really, uh, really helps me out to know what, uh, you know, what your feelings are about the uh, the game and how it's it's coming, how it's playing out. And if you have any advice or uh, you just want to say hi, you know, I'm good with that, too. You know, let's uh, let's we'll do this on. We'll hit this on the next video and we'll be uh, I think we'll be just that much further ahead. Uh, you take care now and I will see you soon. Bye bye.